Hello, my friends, and welcome back to our blind let's play of House of Ashes. My name is Flightless Bird, and this is your Starbase Gaming channel. And you may be wondering, hey, Flightless, why are you hovering over strange eons right here? The answer is simple. No one actually commented on the last video saying if we should go with our ruthless failure playthrough or try to get the five alive ending. Which means one of two things. Either one, uh, you're all leaving it up to me. Or two, you are so nice that you don't want to recommend me having to do this all over again because you fear for my sanity at having to restart if something goes wrong. And hey, I totally appreciate that. So I, I'm thinking that, you know, maybe, uh, maybe it's the latter more than the former. But either way, we will be playing through Strange Aeons. Uh, I do want to say I want to give a shout out to Admon Dell and a non unknown acquaintance. Uh, two new viewers to the channel have commented before. Unknown acquaintance, unfortunately, your comment got deleted for some reason. YouTube seems to be doing that lately. lately, lately. I don't know why. Um, but I will address something you say uh, towards probably the end of the video. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, for now, let's just jump right in, shall we? And here we go. Architects and killers. As we try to whatever it is, it twisted them. Not their creatures of hate. Get everyone to kill. Dead things. With no one left to kill. I didn't notice that last time that she picked that up. I mean, I knew she had it because she threatens to blow herself they up. For us. But I didn't see that. Shit. Rachel. Now I do have a plan. We can't get fear, uh, fearful. Rachel. Because that apparently makes us go Rachel. insane. Rachel. Or I should say run away. Rachel. Rachel. But at the same Rachel, time, we got to make sure Jason doesn't put a bullet in our head. Which is, needless to say, kind of difficult to figure out. It's like a puzzle game almost. This is such a beautiful scene, by the way. Oh, they see the crash landing. I mean, it's beautifully shot. Look how beautiful this is, you all. Man, I hope you're having as beautiful day as this picture right here is. It's just so gorgeous. What is that bearing updated? Is that, uh, yeah, we see a vision of the past, right? I'm sorry. Okay, this is a bad choice. We definitely do not want to blow ourselves up. They came from the stars. This isn't their home. It's an arc. Do something! She's turning into one of them! Please, Rachel, you have to hold on! It's killing me! I'll put her out of her misery. Pull her the fuck down. No! We can still save her! There's gotta be a way we can't lose her! There's no other way. Hold it down. Uh, desperate to do it. Commanding, kill me. I'm turning. Uh, what if I say nothing? Because I don't want the fearful status. Fuck, Rachel. I have to put you down. Okay, okay. Um, I, I have to say something here. Or else he may actually shoot me. Jason, please put 
tell the gun. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. Nope. I definitely should have said something. Great. Jason killed Rachel to stop our transforming. Oh, great. Wonderful. Just simply wonderful. Ah. It had to be done. Stand up, Sergeant K. That's so interesting because I didn't say something the first time, but I did the second time. He ended up shooting me. Those things aren't dumb. You'll have heard the gunshot. We need to move the fuck out. Well, you know what that means. I gotta sit through the too, Colonel. ten minutes gotta go. of getting back to this point. Goodbye, Rich. Again. You'll always love you. Uh, reset number, I don't know, five, six. It would have been cool if Eric shot Jason right there, though. You know, if he would have just been like, screw you for doing this. Uh, maybe if their friendship was like really low, that happens. Is he actually going to finish her off? Wow. All right, I'll see you guys in a few. All right, well, here we are back in, what is this? Tick six? I don't know. I kind of lost count at this point. But we're gonna try to do what we did the first time, which is to say, don't both times. And then we gotta hope that we can. They came from the stars. This isn't their home. We, we gotta hope that she will agree to be cocooned. Because if she doesn't agree to be cocooned at that point, I don't really know what else do to do except maybe do the uh, double dots. Please, Rachel, you have to hold on. And, and that's that's the only me. thing left I could try to do. I'll put her out of her misery. Pull her the fuck down. We can still save her. There's got to be a way. We can't lose her. There's no other way. Hold her down. Uh, desperate, don't do it. Jason. Don't do it. I have to put you down. It's me, Jason. It's me, Jason. Please, put down the gun. Okay, you need to shoot us. Fuck. That's good. What is our fuel for me to look like, by the way? I, I have to know. Um, how do I look at characters? This is something we really haven't looked at at all. Uh, so we're in love with Eric. That's pretty impressive. Jason is mid. Nick and Slim haven't moved at all. And we're guarded, abrasive, commanding, and headstrong. Strangely enough, fearful is not one of those that's down there. We do have glimpses of romantic and determined. I'm surprised we never got romantic up. That's strange. You. Why didn't you do it? Because we gotta have hope. Wait, wait, may I suggest something? Fuck, man, just say it. There may be another way. The fluid in the cocoons. Oh, shit, I think I know where you're going with this. What's she talking about? The fluid, it keeps the flesh alive, but it stops the aging. How could you possibly know that? I saw it. A man covered in this fluid, he should have been dead, but he was alive. It kept him alive. If we can get Rachel in there, we could stop this. Are you for real? That's crazy. We don't know anything about it. It could stop her from transforming. The cocoon will keep her safe until we return with help. It's our only hope. Just do it. Hopefully she does it. Just do it. Anything to stop this. Well, our commanding was always up. Oh! Whoa, 
god. What? Yeah, exactly. That is gross. That's some Silent Hill stuff right there. The thing. Who is inside me? I'm gonna kill that fucking thing. <laughs> Kill the parasite. Where are you? Nothing here. Man, that is that is the most hideous thing I've seen in a while. Absolutely gross. Nothing here. Third time's a charm. No. Oh my God! Jesus! God! Oh! Triangle. Sorry about that, but that scared the living heck out of me. Oh my god. Can we not touch this thing? Oh. Oh. An alien parasite that grew inside Rachel after being implanted by one of the creatures. Its existence proves that the creatures are undead beings controlled by parasitic life forms. Oh my god, that was terrifying. Oh. It's like, that's a lame cocoon fault. Oh my lord. I may have to go back and blur out my uh, PlayStation settings if it's got anything important. But Lord, that was intense. Those mounds are made of cocoons, thousands of them. If we set the charges there, they'll all burn. Oh, I did not like that. I did not like that at all. I'm just saying. That was not fun. Shit, we're hatching. Of course. We gotta move. Quick. Yeah, like, get out of here quick. Okay, listen up. We've been hit hard tonight. We lost brothers. Yep. But now, it's time to get some payback. Or we can just get <laughs> McDonald's or something. I mean... Plant charges on as many of those clusters as possible and then detonate them remotely. Second those charges go off, we haul ass to the exit. Flux is on our side. We'll do more than fry a few vampires. We created the bridge. I love how they say Flux is on our if side. If we die here, at least we'll take some of those bastards down with Luck us. Luck is never on your flightless bird side. It just doesn't happen. Who's going to place the dynamite? Is it still going to be Nick? All right, fuck it. I'll do it. Is there an option where Nick it's doesn't crazy. get chosen? We'll do it together. Nah, the more of us down there. So I think that would be pretty interesting, you know? Maybe the curry to cut. If I don't make it, Nick, hear me out. Yeah. If I don't make it, I want you to blow those charges. Uh, Just don't go getting trigger happy on me. Every step of the way, you keep in radio contact. I don't like this. And if there's no radio signal, I never like I'll this. Pop the flare. <laughs> you see it go up. You hit that detonator. Be quick and be safe. Oh be boy, ready. I have no idea what we're gonna do here. Are we just gonna run away like we did last time? Or are we actually this. gonna try to do this correctly? Hell yeah. Thanks, Colonel. I mean, the problem is with him wounded, I don't see how we can actually do this correctly. Because I'm gonna have to pass, I think it's three heartbeat sessions. And I don't think I can pass three heartbeat sessions. I'm just saying. I can't make it out. So. What are all these machines? Is that one of them? What 
is that? I don't think I've ever looked at this many things before. There. There's one ahead of him. There's left. Nick, the cocoons are hatching ahead of you. You gotta move fast. Yeah, I don't think I ever checked out that many interesting things. I remember just seeing the one that hatched and First item at his oh. that was it. You know, if we can't survive the heartbeat section though, we we don't we're not in fear of the uh of the uh the guy throwing his spear out of us. Which way? Left or right? So that's a plus, right? That guy. Karum? What's his name? Karum? Stupid wound, man. I bet you anything, though, if you don't have that wound, you don't have to do this heartbeat session. So, it probably... It probably plays off each other. Alright, I'm gonna tell you what. If I can do this heartbeat session right on the first try, then I'm gonna try to do it on the way out. I still can't believe I messed it the first time through on the very last one. All right, this one's going a lot faster. And it's tricky because you can't press it immediately right after it. Oh, I got tricked up by the X of the triangle. Well, let's kick the hornet's nest. Oh, I hate that so much. It's funny because I think I did that on my first playthrough and then on the second uh, 1.5 run, I believe I was boasting that the game couldn't fool me. Ugh. Do you want to try it though? Do you want to see if we can get out of here? I mean, it is like 10 to 15 minute cutscene. I have to watch again if I fail, but do you think we should at least give it a shot? Such a bad idea. Left is always right. I'm going for it. This is way too easy. I think in Little Hope you could actually die if you go the wrong way. So I'm pretty sure even if I pass this QTE, I'm still dead. What is it? Too many. He's a dead man. Sweet baby Jesus. Wait! What will warning him do now? There is no way out. I'm really hoping there is. Hey, how's it looking up there? Hundreds of them. Well, that's interesting. At least you've got the boss to tell the truth. The first time. I'm sorry, Nikki. For this. For what happened at that checkpoint. Because I may have changed that dialogue. Bet it happens. Because I changed that dialogue uh, when we had to replay that section. I think that changed that line. It's amazing how this game works. Oh God, here we go. Come on, players, bird, you can do this. Just don't stress out. Don't freak out. Don't go crazy. Okay. Okay. Come on, you can do this, players, bird. You can barely see the screen because of the green. Okay, it's gonna switch on me. Ah, it's so hard. You can barely see it because of all the green everywhere. Oh, come on! Come on. You can 
barely see it. Charges in place. Now, how the heck are we gonna get out of here? I don't think there is getting out of here. Oh, after all that! After all that! After all those button presses, it didn't matter. Well, what a hero's death that was. Holy cow, that is... Nick! Answer me, damn it! That is amazing. Come on, buddy, let me hear your voice. Just amazing the way he dies. Nick, you're a freaking hero, man. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> now I gotta do this all over again. Oh, I love you, Nick. There's a chance he could still survive, right? Oh my goodness! Maybe he did survive. And I was just about to quit out too. Is it Nick? He's alive. Nick, firm your position. I'm 200 meters from the door. Bearing 320. But I'm. I'm injured. I, I need help. Oh, yeah. Like, we thought we got out alive. I think we were wrong. What was that Baron update? Uh, Quim came back as one of the dead, cornered Nick after he planned extra charges in the cocoon. Oh, that's from the, uh... Hang tight, Sergeant. We're on our way. That's from the, the, um... The, uh, the third tablet, isn't it? Triangle, 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 triangle! Come on, you can do it, Nick! You can do it! Ooh, ah! What the heck? With me, she can go down and forever. Nick, need you here. Yes! Oh, Salim, I love you, man. Salim is the man. Move up! I can't believe. He's still alive. I seriously was just about to quit out. I would have felt so bad if I quit out and someone came in the comment section and said, Oh, this party was still alive! But we're not out of here yet. Not by a long shot. That was the easy part. Jason, unknown structure. 5.22 AM, 3,444 feet. Hopefully we got a checkpoint at least. Where the fuck is Selene? Charges were a godsend. Feels like this whole damn place is coming down. It's Salim, he's still alive. We gotta go get him. Salim, come in, man. Are you there? I am surrounded. I'm in real trouble here. Vampires. So many vampires. What's there to think about? We go back down there. Die with them. He's a dead man. We need to go. So cold by Eric. That man is not one of us. I don't care. Never leave a man behind. You're wrong. 
Salim is one of us now. Marines don't leave their own behind. Hurrah. Yeah, Miss Salim? If I don't make that, tell my son I did everything I could. Tell him yourself. I'm coming to get you. I still think technically our Five Alive playthrough has failed because Jason will die, right? Because of the uh, inhalation. Because of one stupid QTE. I still can't believe that. Oh yeah, I, I knew exactly what I was aiming on that one. You will get Celine. Yeah. You've come to join the fun. <laughs> All right, come on, Jason. We can do this, buddy. Circle. Just barely. Come on, come on, throw that thing. Throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. Yeah. Salim the Vampire Slayer. Seriously, Slayer? Hey, what do you know? We got a trophy for that. Let's get out of here. All right, so far so good. We don't have to dodge the uh, spear this time, because that thing was killed. Got some cover fire. It's a private elevator. And it's very, very dark. I'd be sad if the elevator broke because there's too many people on it. And that's how the game ends. Congratulations, you got all five out, and you die for it. It takes more than a few bats to kill you. <laughs> oh man, that was unfucking believable. Those things were all over us, but me and Celine busted through them like it was the last down of the goddamn Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Listen up, I'm not out of the woods yet. What I see in front of me, you're the best. Fuck that. Best of the best. We will. Get home. Hoorah! 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 It just stops. <laughs> oh, all right. Rachel. 549. Not out of the woods yet, people. This way, hurry! I think we gotta get to the top before we get another checkpoint. Which means I can't lose anyone here. Oh, I'm so nervous. My hands are sweating. That's why I hate about this game. The stress, the anxiety. What are you looking at? Come on. We go together. That was Rachel that came up last time, right? Oh, oh my lord! Ah, it's Clarice! Clarice! Max! Oh, there's always something coming at us. A uh, triangle! A uh, triangle! A uh, triangle! A uh, triangle! I don't think that was enough triangles. Stab her! Stab her! Why can't I stab her? I was right at her chest. No! Are you kidding me? Are you? I, I tried to stab her and I couldn't game. No. Rachel, no. God, no. 
Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Rachel, no, you can't be. How much further do I have to go back now? I'm afraid to know. Yeah. Hopefully, not gonna make me go all the way back from when uh, Nick was doing the planting. Oh, we'll find out. So, thankfully, I only had to go back to save Celine, which isn't too difficult. Of a scene. All right, you have to shoot we go together. the bat. Then you press circle, and then you throw the spear at the bat. And that's all actually really easy to do. Now, the question is, how do I stab police? Because I tried stabbing her, and nothing happened. Chris. X. Oh shoot! I messed up that one already. Now we're Eric. Um, in the face. That's what you do. That's interesting because I didn't get the triangle prompt that time. Come on, Rachel. Get off my... Um, husband. That's it. This is... Sparta! Alright, I know I've used that before, but I don't care. It never gets old to me. So based on if you fail or succeed a certain QTE, Damn you it. get a different QTE. Shit, I never should have let her go. Never should have brought her here. Can we please get that guy out of here? Just please? Oh, man. This has been a mission trying to get all five alive. Let me tell you. And was this eighth reset? I said it would have a counter at the beginning, but I kind of just didn't want to use a counter because I didn't want to get depressed. <laughs> the statue. There's a way out. Yeah, I think the final checkpoint is once you get out, so. We gotta get out in order to get to the final scene. I don't think there's anything stopping us. All right. I love how they make it seem like that's the end. They did a really good job with that, by the way, the fake out ending. Cause it really looks like this is game over, you know? I mean, you got the dramatic scene of, of the, uh, of the grappling hook. You see Rachel falling out. Full of blood. You hear the rise of the trumpet music. And then the game's like, we nah. made it. Soak up those rays, guys. Soak it all up. You still with me, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> we got two alive. They're fucking ready to go home, Marines here. Drop kick to Coyote 2. Radio check. Over. Rhino 1 5, solid copy. We're five minutes from your position. Where the hell have you guys been? Over. Oh, this is gonna be the hard part, in my opinion. Uh, Eosport was nearby. What happens if they're not nearby? I'm pretty sure this scene still Come happens, back up right? Back again. We beat the enemy. I actually forgot how bright it is out here. <gasps> you think those shepherds are still around here? I could use a cold one. <laughs> I must return home to my boy. He must be worried about me.
No, not again. It's an awesome picture right there, by the way. Well, before we only had to ever get three guys out alive. How am I gonna do with trying to get all five? I do not know. Sure the defenses. Lock this place down tight. When I mean, you think it would be easier with more people, but I have a feeling it's quite the opposite. feel like six minutes. I should have said three instead. It would have made more sense. All right, we got to hold on to him with the uh, X, 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 X. Come on! You go. Selim the man. Shit. It's my last clip. Anyone got any more bright ideas? Well, let's <sighs> light him up, shall we? Is this it? Players? Where's the ammo? Light them. We can hold them off. Say a prayer for me, all right? And for all these guys. And lady. Rachel. Come on, Rach. You can do it. Triangle! with a knife, man. Oh, come on! I was staring at the chest again! Did I have to go for the head? I hate that, because I don't know where to go, and it doesn't really, like, tell you either. Alright. Rachel's still alive. That's good news. Now we got Eric Square! Dang it! We already lost one player. X, 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 X. <laughs> nice shot, Eric. But he already lost one player, which is not good. Circle. Square. Come on, Slame, my man, the hero, the man, the myth, the legend. Square. Circle. No. A strangle. A triangle. A lot of triangles. Jason. Come on, Jason. You can do it. Zargo! I almost didn't see that one. It's kind of out of left field, like that one. Oh, I thought I pressed X. Come on, Jason. Triangles, I hate triangles. Yes. Time to go 
go all wrestling on him. Nice. That was beautiful. All right, come on, Rachel. We can do this. X. Come on. A circles, a lot of circles. Come on. Nice. Good job, Rach. Guido the second said in the dune books there is another path a golden path oh my lord I can't believe it five alive the dream is a reality on lethal difficulty no less See, I would be Rachel. Get me the heck out of here as fast as humanly possible. I'm gonna need straight for that helicopter. Get this thing in the air and as far away from this place. Maximum speed. Oh. We've got five survivors. This One was a mission. Oh, look at the look at the smoldering gar uh, demons. I'm gonna say gargoyles, vampires, whatever they're called. No, I don't think I've noticed them before. And haven't seen this before either. Look at that, my friends. The mind is its own place, and in itself can make a heaven of hell, a hell of heaven. John Milton, Paradise Lost. Bravo. It appears your charges have emerged from their hell in one piece, although this ordeal will continue to haunt them for the rest of their lives. Oh, thanks for being a downer. I look forward to our next encounter. Perhaps I'll choose a story that's a little more homely next time. Somewhere you'd be guaranteed of a decent night's sleep. Rest assured, wherever it is, you'll find it extremely hard. Oh, I get it. A decent night's sleep because it's in a hotel. Until the next time. Because that's what the uh, premonition you said, remember? Hotel? Ah, that's that's pretty clever there. Nicely done. Submassive so does everything nicely done though. I mean, they're amazing. Absolute magicians of their craft. You're late and you look like shit. I just got off the red eye. What's your excuse? 
I just wish uh, Jason didn't get the uh, poison. Because, I mean, that was... I mean, that's one QTE, you know? Coffee wasn't so bad, though. Good fucking muffins. Did you read the brief? On the flight. How's it going with the analysis team? Four of the ISQ units survived. They're being debriefed through here. Shall we? After you. And the entities? Like nothing we've seen before. <laughs> cool check, Jason. First lieutenant, Marine Force Recon. The best of the best, huh? Or so they advertised. Fuck! Now how many times do I have to keep telling you the same damn story? I understand. However, SETCOM needs to iron out any irregularities. Such as? The whole fucking thing was irregular! Such as why you allied with an enemy combatant? You aren't fucking there! Those things were ripping us to shreds. I don't give a damn who it was. We needed all the help we could get. I stepped back into that hell to save Selene. And that man was worth five of you people. Semper fucking five! <laughs> Lieutenant Kolchak? Technically, five was alive. That's a nasty cough. His biopsy results just came back in. The future's not looking so rosy for a war hero. He did make oh, it out, though. Bad. Hopefully enough time for the experiments. So they cooperated with an Iraqi soldier down there? Republican Guard, if you can believe it. Must have made a hell of an impression for Kolchak to go back for him. I'm dying to meet this guy. I am not answering any more questions until I see my son. That's not how we do things around here. You don't have a clue. Jason came back for me. What does that tell you? Down there, this damn war of yours was over. I'd like to talk more about the entities. The vampires. I'm finding it very hard to believe that you killed those things with that. Untie me, and I'll show you how I did it. <laughs> the analysis team are still pulling specimens from the site. There's carnage down there. They use dynamite? We don't know how they got their hands on it. No, 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 I'm done. I told you already. It was a city, a goddamn city full of those things. There were cocoons down there. Fucking thousands of them. How many organisms were still alive down there? Too many. Oh, for all our sake. They're all fucking burdened. This is like Winterfold all over again. Uh-huh. Ah, and here we have Colonel Eric King, our in-house genius. He definitely got more than he bargained for. Definitely, that's for sure. Everything you know about biology just went up in smoke. These things, they're advanced. They're stronger than us, more intelligent than us. If you want to get ahead of this, you need to start taking me seriously. None of us doubt the severity of the situation, Colonel. A number of people have died. I made it out alive. And I'm going to make sure those things stay buried in that hellhole where they belong. Let's move on to Caleb. Well, do you believe me now? This is Miller. He'll be fully debriefing you. Debriefing? You need to get your damn priorities straight. Those things are still down there. What are you doing about them? There will be plenty of time to talk things through. Right now, I suggest you count your blessings that you came through the other side. It's nothing short of a miracle that you survived down there. I learned not to rely on anyone but myself. I was stronger than them all. We'll be back shortly. That's kind of cold. What got that response? Someday? Janet's making hot pot. You bet your ass we're on. I'll never get used to this job. Is all the commanding in this? At least this one was localized. A small blessing. So, what do you make of it all? Doesn't matter what I think. Only thing that matters is controlling the flow of information. As far as the world knows, not a damn thing happened here.
Well, my friends, I guess that's it with our 1.5 take 8 something playthrough. Uh, we did it. We got all five live mission success. And yeah, it, it, it took a lot, but we did it. And it was a lot of fun. Like, seriously, I had so much fun playing this game. And I just hope you had a lot of fun watching and enjoying it with me. Um, I really, I really am thankful for all of you guys. Thank you so very much. If you'd like to support the channel in an additional way besides just thumbing up and watching the episodes, uh, I do have a Patreon. The link is in the description below. Uh, but for the most part, I just want to, I just want to bring a smile to someone's face. And I hope I brought a smile to your face today. Uh, going back to what I said at the beginning of the episode, however... Um, I did say that I was really thankful for, you know, some some new people commenting on the videos. Uh, I know an acquaintance who is, for some reason, uh, video, I mean, comic got deleted, which makes no sense at all. I definitely didn't do it. I know no one else did it, so I, I do know YouTube's been doing it. Strangely enough, it's happened to Enter Zero uh, a few times now. Uh, but he said, uh, great video, man. Uh, love for the dedication restarting, lol. P.S. Did you ever play other choice-based games like this? Example, Detroit Become Human. It's a great game, and if you haven't played it, maybe you can play it for the channel. Well, let me address that, because here's the thing. Uh, I was a gamer before I started playing YouTube, so unfortunately, there are a lot of games that I have played that I would have liked to have played for this channel if I hadn't played them already, because they wouldn't be blind. And then there's some games I'm calling blindish, uh, Games that I haven't played in a long, long time, like Shadow Hearts. But in regards to the choice-based games, these are the choice-based games that I can remember off the top of my head that uh, I played through. And I don't know if playing them on the channel would be as good because they're definitely not blind. And that is, unfortunately, Detroit Become Human. Uh, that is the only... David Cage is his name? The guy who makes the game. That's the only one of his games though, that I played. I've always thought about going back and playing the other ones, but uh, I haven't for some reason. Instead, I got tied up with some Telltale games, and we played, or I should say I played. <laughs> I, I played, uh, let's see, uh, the Batman games, season one and season two. I really enjoyed the Batman games. The Wolf Among Us, which was a great fantasy-like point-and-click adventure game, and... I say point and click adventure main, I mean choice based game. Well, technically, they are kind of point and clicks if you think about them. Uh, in the last story based game that I played like this, a uh, choice based game I played like this, was The Council. And I really love The Council, and I'm so sad that I've never seen a second Council because The Council was a really good game, and I really enjoyed it a lot. Uh, so, those are the four games that I've played as far as choice based gaming. Uh, I would like to play on the channel sometime uh the walking dead series because i think that would be a lot of fun especially since i loved um i love batman and i loved the wolf among us so that's something i would like to do eventually i would also like to maybe play some of the other cage games i believe it's called heavy rain and Beyond Two Souls? Question mark? Um, yeah, so there are a couple of games that I would like to play. Uh, but, you know, since we've been playing horror games, and uh, I really want to play Man of Madon, uh, I decided to play these games first. So if you would like to see any of those games hit this channel, uh, please let me know in the comment section below. Say, hey, Flatless Bird, it'd be really cool if you could do this. You could be really cool if you do this. Because I do take your feedback, and based on your feedback, I want us to play games we can enjoy together. So just let me know what you would like to do, and uh, eventually, maybe we will get to it. For now, my friends, this has been the 5 Alive 1.5 Part 8 playthrough of The House of Ashes. Uh, our next... Our next run through of this game is going to be a lot of fun because i'm going to call it the ruthless failure playthrough 
I'll probably label it as failure playthrough, but it's going to be a ruthless failure playthrough. And what we're going to do is we're going to choose all the choices that are either A, aggressive, or B, get someone killed. As long as the thing that gets us killed isn't the thing that we've already seen. Uh, so all the death scenes we've seen so far, what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to get a different death scene, if possible. Um, it may be possible that I just mess up on a button click or something. Uh, but if you want to see what happens when you try to burn everything to the ground, that's basically what we're going to do next. And I don't think I'm going to have as hard of a time as I did with this uh, 1.5. And then after this, after that playthrough, we will go to our point and click adventure game to get some comedy in our life to reset our scare meter. And then I have planned Eternal Darkness, followed by the point and click and um, Silent Hills. We still have to play more of the Silent Hill games. Now, if the curator cut is released sometime in the near future. I will make time to slot in the curator cut uh, so that way we can enjoy that as well. So there's going to be three complete playthroughs on the channel like the other two games. You know, with some additional 1.5 stuff. Well, that's all for now. This, th this video has taken me an hour and a half to make because there's been a lot of uh, resets. Uh, so if you like what you do, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It really, really helps the channel to this channel. Uh, tell your friends about us. I'm not really good at publicizing, so, you know, if you're on a gaming website, hey, shout out your flightless bird. That would be really helpful. And until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.